Pop Squad. Come on, We've got a song sent in. Oh, okay. Something on my... Mm. Something on my lip. It was good. It was, um... It was, um... An ice cream sandwich. And I, I got a little stuff on my lip. Some of that nice cookie part. Uh, sorry if that was disgusting to you. But, uh, it wasn't anything bad. Don't worry. We have music sent in by Mr. Big Weld. Uh, we have reacted to some other things that were sent in by Mr. Big Weld. He is one of my patrons and um, sent this in a while ago, obviously, because I'm always far, far behind. And uh, this is Plug by Rich the Kid, uh, featuring Playboy Cardi and Kodak Black. And when Mr. Big Weld sent this in, he said, you need to check out this landmark plug track uh, from Rich the Kid. And I, this is, in fact, something I have not reacted to before. So this is kind of cool. This is on um, an album, Dabin Fever, <laughs> from 2015. Dabin Fever. Like Cabin Fever, but Dabin. It is rap, hip-hop, cloud rap, Atlanta rap, plug, and trap. Again, by Rich the Kid. I don't know if I've reacted to Rich the Kid. I certainly know his name. Uh, Rich the Kid. Carnival. All right. I have reacted to one song that features Rich the Kid. Carnival by Kanye West. Ty Dolla Sign, Rich the Kid, Playboy Cardi. And uh, so this is the first time I've reacted to Rich the Kid. Let's read something about Rich the Kid. Let's read something about Rich the Kid. Here we go. Uh, Dimitri Leslie Roger, Dimitri L. Roger, Dimitri Roger are his aliases. May not get through all of this because there's a whole bunch of it. That's what I thought. Dimitri Leslie Roger, born July 13th, 1992, the year I graduated college. Known professionally, prof professionally, professionally as Rich the Kid is a rapper reigning, reigning from Atlanta, Georgia originating from atlanta georgia reigning means like ruling from atlanta georgia that doesn't make any sense he was formerly part of quality control and is closely associated with fellow rappers migos and skip it a flippa those are good names uh growing up in queens new york to which he was originally born from whew, Rich stated that he grew up listening to naz jay-z and tupac but after moving to college park at the age of 13 uh, after his parents were divorced, he started listening to rappers such as T.I. and Jeezy. When Rich first started rapping, his first rap name was Black Boy to Kid. However, he changed it as to what it is now. Whew. This writing just drives me a little crazy. From 2010 to 2012, as Black Boy to the Kid, Rich released four mixtapes from his Cut the Check series to his debut mixtape, The Kid's Playground. Since his name changed in 2013, he released Ben About the Benjamins and would later release two collaborative mixtapes with the Migos titled Streets on Lock, Volume 1 and 2, Volumes 1 and 2. From there, he continued to release a slew of mixtapes, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he was signed to 300 Entertainment with Rich Forever. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Man, this is a whole bunch of words that don't really say much about him, just like his career. Uh, he's gone through many record labels. Once again, it was announced that Rich was signed to RCA Records. The following year, Rich would collaborate with Kanye West, Ty Dallas, I in a long time. Collaborator Playboy Cardi on the track Carnival, which I have listened to, in which the track made its debut before on December 15th, 2023, but was updated on February 8th, 2024. This is just written very poorly. Let's just not read any more of that because it's not actually useful. Rich the Kid, there. I, I know almost nothing new about Rich the Kid from <laughs> reading that. Let's check this out. The song is Plug, once again, sent in by Mr. Big Weld. This came out in 2015. It is four minutes long. And uh, I do want to check to see what this is labeled. I think I looked already. Yeah, Atlanta rap, plug, trap, cloud rap, hip-hop rap. 
So let's do it. Let's check it out. Thanks again for sending this in. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share to everybody watching this. And if you want to send stuff for me to react to, Cash App, PayPal, and Patreon information is down below. Those are the ways to send me information about what you'd like to hear and some money to do it. And you can also order one of these cool, cool stickers. Oh, I got some, I got some smudge on here. Uh, information is down below in the description of this video. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. We're starting. Love the feel of this, and I like the way he's accenting things in the. It's really cool. Till I ran into the plug. I got a key red up in the Louis V. Now they calling me the plug. I'm out in Guatemala with a quarter million dollars fucking with the plug. Touchdown on a nigga boy stack. Then I brought it to the plug. For this and I'm drinking the plug. In the trap, make a play that quarterback. Touchdown on a nigga, I'm taking your sack. I came off with one ground. Now I pull up the blue lamb. Who is the producer on this? This is a really cool track. Uh, Mexico Dro. Wow. What a cool sounding track. I, like, I'm really loving the way this sounds. His vocals are fantastic. I mean... I, he's accenting the words that exactly need to be accented that like work with the music to kind of hit that note it's just so good oh this is kind of cool red red camo green camo blue camo that's pretty cool That's just such a great lyric. Out in Guatemala with a quarter million dollars fucking with the plug. Like, la 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 la. It's so good. Like, just to come up with those words and put them next to each other is fantastic. Touchdown on a nigga boy set. Then I brought it to the plug. But you know I bag it. Ralph Simmons bag it. Perry Ellis bag it. Call my phone, I bag it. Bought my whole some bags. She know that I bag it. <laughs> it's so funny to see Playboy Cardi in like his mid late teenage years. It's so crazy. Hey, yo, Jerry, I had a bell. He know that I bag it. I'm gonna move that traffic. Can't let these offers have it. It's snowing in my head. It's snowing in my. My block too hot for all that shit. So you don't want no ass. Niggas get the blasting man down. Somebody bag it. Designer jeans, I cash and let the nigga have it. Probably file is always up in magic. Hey, bitch, I love him, have it. She know that I bag it all. He mad cause she bag it all. I was jugging for nesting and flex till I ran into the plug. I got the key red up in the Louis V. Now they calling me the plug. I'm out in Guatemala with a quarter million dollars fucking with the plug. Touchdown on a nigga boy set, then I brought it to the plug. I'm balling on you niggas, don't nobody fuck with you cause you a scrub. 30 inches on that G body, nigga, I don't ride dub. Really, I'm the no plug. Call that why you do me like that, I just want a little love. No bitch, I'm a thug. Nigga, I already know what's up, so don't try to dap me up when you see me in the club. It's interesting that this 
the Kodak Black section has a lot more like skipping around, stuttering sort of stuff going on. It's it's really cool. She said, baby, you ain't got a rug, but I already caught my nut. What you expect? I'm booted up. I told her, leave her shoes at the door. I been not catch you stepping on my rug. Oh, I'm going to wet you up. I was jugging, finessing, and flex till I ran into the plug. I got the key wrapped up in the Louis V. Now they calling me the plug. I'm out in Guatemala with a quarter million dollars fucking with the plug. It's interesting. That track has a lot more energy than a lot of plug that I've heard. Like it's it's very. I don't know. Maybe it's the way the lyrics are. No, not the lyrics. The vocals are presented. That is a very good track. I really like that. I mean, this is something that I've probably, oh, 66 million views. <laughs> oh, this is a good song. Oh, I'm an idiot. Of course it's a good song. I mean, that's a really good song. I like that track. 66 million views. But take it, take my word for it. It's good. I see. I can. I can make fun of myself. I'm an idiot. Uh, that was great. I mean, I. I have not. I don't think I've heard a plug track that sounds quite like that. And I know this is from nine years ago now. Sorry to make you feel old. Um. But I like that. I that. I would listen to that today. I mean, obviously, I just did listen to it. But I mean, like in a playlist which it will be added to my playlist very soon uh this is a good song this is a really good song i'm surprised i haven't heard this already nice nice stuff thank you mr big weld for sending this in um i i didn't talk about the content of the lyrics at all some of it i absolutely don't understand a lot of of it a lot of of it uh i think it's more about the rhyme scheme and how everything flows and how cool it sounds together even so um it it's very much a trap track right like they're talking about drugs they're talking about how cool they are violent they are they're bitches um it's good it's just a good track it's just a track i want to listen to so anyway Pop Squat, checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. That's this stuff over here. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon is over here. Order yourself a sticker. Go watch another video on the channel. Helps me out. I'm guessing that this track in particular I'm not going to be able to monetize. That's fine. If you can watch another video, increases the chances of me making a couple of pennies today. Um, if you're curious about that, why don't we look at this? Why don't we look at this? We can look at how much money I make on this channel. Um, and I do this usually in the the um, like uh, X number of the thousand subscriber download. I like go through all these pages on YouTube Studio. So my estimated revenue for this month is two hundred and thirty-two dollars, and most of that, to tell you the truth, comes from the live streams that I do. So last week. Um, we did i mean it was a really good live stream 78 dollars i'm i'm getting out of that i think it was like 90 some dollars that actually people sent in but i don't get all of it um because you know youtube and google need to take their cut because they're starving for cash and um but i'll get 78 dollars from last week's live stream the one before that was 52 the one before that thirteen dollars nineteen dollars so it kind of varies quite a bit but my day-to-day -day, like two dollars and twenty seven cents two dollars and twelve cents a dollar eighty two thirty one two thirty four two twenty eight two thirty three it's not a lot of money on a day-to-day -day basis and um those live streams really do help so hey if you can join us for one i'm not sure if i'm doing live stream on friday or saturday this week um, I, th I don't know. I think I work Saturday, so I'll probably do it on Friday night. 
so probably Friday this week. But yeah, it helps me out if you go check out a video that I can monetize. Uh, and if you look here, like uh, this shit from yesterday, I can't monetize. Uh, some of the others I share revenue on. I'm, I, again, I'm perfectly fine with sharing revenue for making money on it fully or uh, having something be in a, unable to be monetized because I think artists should be making some money off of what they create. That's just how it, how it goes. Um, so go check out another video if you would. I would appreciate that. And uh, there you go. Have a good, good night. Good, good day. That's what I usually say. Have a good, good day. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more music. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye.